Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Jenny and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review and a demo on the new Laura Mercier Skin Essentials skincare line. So if you're interested in seeing what the products are, how they work for me, then don't go anywhere and let's get right into it. All right, so I hope the lighting is not so awful in here as I am filming from my bathroom because we are doing a skincare video. I have no makeup on whatsoever. I haven't even done my brows. So let's just look past that and let's get into the products. So I actually received these products from Laura Mercier in PR. So thank you so much to the Laura Mercier team for sending me these products. They send them in this super cute little pouch. And if you guys haven't seen, they just came out with this Skin Essentials skincare line. And I have been using the products for a few weeks now so that I can give you a better review. But of course, I'm gonna be showing you how I use them here in the video. So don't worry, you are gonna see a little demo. But before we get into that, let's talk about what this skincare line is all about. So I'm gonna be sharing some of the information that Laura Mercier sent over. So this new Skin Essentials line is the essential step to the flawless face. And some of the main ingredients that these products have is number one, fresh spring seawater. It also has rose water that is full of essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that are known to calm the skin. And lastly, it has the starflower oil to nourish the skin preparing it for flawless makeup application. And something that I want to note is that this skincare line is actually targeted for oily skin. I personally have combination skin type, so I will definitely be giving you my input on that and how I like this product so far. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up in a ponytail just so that it doesn't get on the way. All right, so hair is up and can we please do not look at my roots. We're in quarantine and this is quarantine hair, so it's acceptable. But to start off, I'm gonna start by using the purifying micellar water. And I'm just gonna use a little cotton round and apply some of this to my face. And I usually use a micellar water when I remove my makeup, but I don't have any makeup on right now, so I'm just gonna use it to show you a little demo. But you can also use micellar water to remove any face oils before you apply your makeup. And you just wanna apply a little bit of the micellar water and run it all over your face. And it's just gonna remove any impurities that might be laying on top of your skin. Just like that. All right, and for the next step, I will normally use the Balancing Foaming Cleanser, but for the demo purposes, I'm gonna be using this other product before, and this is our new Refining Cream Polish. This is essentially a facial exfoliant, and you don't wanna use a facial exfoliant on a daily basis. You only wanna use this when your skin actually needs it. I personally only use physical exfoliant when I really have a lot of dry skin and just dead skin skin sitting on top of my skin. And as a disclaimer, I wanna mention that I actually prefer chemical exfoliants better just because I feel that they are less harsh on the skin. But this is a physical exfoliant, meaning that it's gonna have little beads in the formula that are gonna allow you to remove the dry skin. You're actually gonna feel little beads in the product. And for some people with sensitive skin, you have to be careful not to use too much pressure with this product because you can actually damage your skin as opposed to benefiting from this product. So always be mindful of what your skin type is. If you have sensitive skin, then maybe a physical exfoliant is not your best option. So this is a product that I will probably only use once a week depending on how my skin is feeling. So I just wanted to put that out there. I'm gonna show you what the product looks like. You can't really see it, but it has little beads in the product. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my skin a little bit, and I'm gonna mix that into the product and start doing little circles to work the product in. I personally only need this around my nose and in the pores area right along the nose, a little bit on the forehead as well. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I actually really like the scent that they added to this product. 
it feels very relaxing and it's not too strong because I also don't like when products are heavily scented. I'm gonna get closer just so that you can see how the texture of the product is. You can definitely see the little beads. And one advice that I can give you with this product is that you wanna apply very light pressure because if you have sensitive skin, you can actually irritate your skin with this product. So again, be mindful of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it. So next I'm gonna be using their Balancing Foaming Cleanser. And this is a cleanser that you can use daily, morning and night. It actually smells really good, you guys. Oh, let me show you the texture. That's the consistency. It's definitely very creamy, which I like. So I'm gonna just start working that on the skin. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more water. It's kind of hard to do this on camera because of the angle, but I really wanna show you how the products work and how you can use them. Since we're talking about skincare, I also want to mention that it's very important that when you wash your face, you actually allow yourself to work in the product for at least one minute. Don't just apply it and rinse it right away because you actually don't allow the product to work in the skin and do what it's supposed to do. So you're basically not getting all of the benefits from the products. When you add more water, it definitely foams a little bit more, but because I'm doing it outside of my sink, I can't really use a lot of water, but just know that if you add more water, it definitely foams a lot more so i'm gonna go ahead and continue doing this and rinse it off okay so after using both the refining cream polish and also the balancing foaming cleanser so we basically wash our face twice and my skin doesn't feel overly dry it actually feels super soft and clean the only area where i feel like my skin is a little bit tight is around my nose but that's because i know that when i use the polish i really went harder around that area but that's because i normally get blackheads and i really wanted to clean in this area and I'm okay with that but I do want to note that my skin feels super soft and it doesn't feel dry which is something that I appreciate I just hate when you wash your face and your skin feels like a paper dry and tight and that's not the case you can see it my skin looks pretty clean and actually really glowy and healthy Okay, and for the next step, I'm gonna be using the Modifying Oil-Free Moisturizer. And first of all, I just wanna show you, I am such a fan of the component because it actually has a pump, which I think it's super sanitary when it comes to applying your skincare products because you don't have to put your fingers into a container that way you don't contaminate the product and i just really like when products like this have a little pump or applicator where you don't have to stick your fingers inside so for somebody like me that has combination skin type i think this moisturizer works perfect for daytime to use daily i like that the formula is very lightweight and it actually absorbs really quickly and you can actually see that it gives you a little bit of a glow which is something that i like and if you are gonna wear makeup i think this moisturizer is perfect because it actually feels a little bit sticky which is gonna be perfect to use uh, right under foundation you might not even need to wear a primer so that's something to note and I personally wouldn't use this for the nighttime just because I personally like heavier moisturizers for the nighttime so I personally really like it for my combination skin type especially because I do get oily on my t-zone and obviously for oily skin that moisturizer is gonna be perfect but if you have dry skin then I probably wouldn't recommend it because it is modifying and as a result you're gonna get more dry so that's something to note so next up I'm gonna be using their new illuminating eye cream this is what it looks like and it's actually a big container having in mind that it is a eye cream it has 0.05 ounces and this is what the consistency of the eye cream looks like I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up but it's actually a thick consistency for an under eye cream so i'm just warming it up in between my fingers 
and I'm gonna apply it right under the eyes. Something that I really like about this under eye cream is that it does illuminate the under eye area and you will see it in a second. I also like to apply a little bit of the leftover that I have on my fingers just on the eyelid so that they are also hydrated. And just let me show you what I'm talking about. It's very illuminating so you can definitely see the glow that it gives to the under eye. So you can probably use this also alone if you're not gonna wear makeup. Since I have really dark under eyes, I personally really enjoy how illuminating this is and it just adds a super beautiful glow to the under eye. It is a little bit thicker than other eye creams that I have tried, but I personally, it doesn't bother me. And now as the last step, I'm gonna be using their hydrating lip balm. And just looking at the component, I really like it because it actually looks like a regular lipstick but it's a lip balm and that is what the lip balm looks like I actually really like it because it does feel really moisturizing and I just love that it makes your lips look super plump and hydrated so that is it for this review and demo I hope that you found it helpful and that you enjoyed the video if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already and I will see you in the next video bye